Welcome to the world, no heroes and villains Welcome to the war, we've only begun So, pick up your weapon and face it There's blood on the crown, go and take it You get one shot to make it out alive So, higher and higher you chase it It's deep in your bones, go and take it This is your moment now is your time, so prove yourself and rise, rise, make up remember you. Hi, guys, I'm Bashwara for back with another video. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, if I haven't been uploading that much, uh, it's because of my school and something bad happened, so yeah. But not enough about me. I'm gonna do what if Deku part six of what if Deku had a servant, a servant quirk. So let's begin. Now we start off the story when the when they arrive home. They arrived home. Um. Uh, Deku arrived home with all of his servants, and basically they dozy off to sleep. Now, now we go on to when they meet up. Uh, actually, no, when they go to the mall. Yeah, look, they go to the mall. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pause. Uh, but they, Deku and Class One A just go, just went to um, the mall. They bought their stuff actually, um, uh, and after they bought their, uh, before they bought the, all of their stuff, Deku was um, all, actually all alone because of. Flat convenience. Um, uh, thing that happens is Shigaraki. Yep, Shigaraki goes up to Deku. His stupid ass going up to Deku and placing his hand on his throat and saying that we need to talk. Deku obliges with this. Not because he's scared. No, 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 no. He can easily defeat Shigaraki with no problem. Deku just... Oh. Uh, Shigaraki asked the same question in canon. Why is the hero killer stain more popular than me? Deku explained that his ideals... He is not a typical villain. He has ideals, like a, um, like a hero. Just say, his ideals were, were, were true. In a, f in, in fact, it's true now. So, that's the reason why the hero killer is more popular than you. And Chigaraki. Went to the same conclusion, and Deku just says, Hmm, had a tight grip there, huh? Are you a little bit pissed? Shigaraki just said, Shut it, boy. What do you think you, who do you think you are? I can easily kill you with just one touch. Deku just says that I can I can easily kill you also with just one slash without even moving. So do you want to try? So do you wanna try me? Deku summons Jack. 
from behind and play and Jack places Shigaraki in a knife hold like a knife through his to his throat and saying that do not ever as underestimate my darling ever again is it okay handyman sorry about that guys I had to pause so yeah so the thing that happens is this yes uh, um, Jack the Ripper uh, oh no Jack um, puts a knife to to um, Shigaraki's throat and basically saying that um, you remember this do not underestimate my darling and Altria getting a little bit pissed is um was summoned she summoned herself in and basically he asked Jack saying what what did this man say that could, Jack just says that oh it's um he underestimate darling Ooh, basically uh Altria just says that you should be off with your head. That could just whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Eh, just leave him be. And Altria just says but Altria just says no buts. If you don't want me to punish you, no buts. And Ultra starts squirming. Yes, he she starts squirming. And Deku just says, Okay, I will punish you later for summoning yourself. Ultra in her mind says, Yes. Ultra just says, Yes, in her mind. Deku just, uh, Shukarari just. Runs off because he doesn't want to deal with the, with Deku right now because he's so powerful. So yeah, they didn't report this to the police because yeah, because they already know that the police won't do shit. So yeah, um. Now that happened, let's go now to the training camp. What happens in the training camp is this. They were in the bus. And, um... They were almost at the training camp. And they were, um... The, ba the bus just stopped in the cliffside. And Deku just just says that so I think something bad is going to happen Merlin says that yes master I think I think of it as well Deku just says Merlin and in, in his head just says Merlin um, give me the info if there are going to be differences see, see the future if what's going to happen and tell that to me Merlin just says as you wish basically Merlin Merlin just looks at the future while Deku is just walking down this down the bus stairs and after that uh, Merlin just says that I think uh, you're going to fall from the cliff because of uh, a hero because this is their training Deku just says oh I see thank you Merlin that's uh, that's quite helpful 
Deku just goes along with it. Goes along with it. And yeah. Deku just yeah goes along with it. And um this this the thing that happens is that Deku is um on the ledge and walks back runs and jumps and yeah everybody was shot because they thought that Deku will die but even Aizawa because he was shot because of they he didn't actually um uh what was it called um he didn't realize that Deku will jump so he was shocked so yeah but Deku is still alive don't worry when they look down they just see Deku just doing the Superman the Superman kneel like a power kneel to say and Deku just uh, Deku just runs to the training camp and get got there first. And yeah, and the Vala Pussycats came and basically they the Vala Pussycats just see everybody shocked faces, and the Vala Pussycat just asks why are they shocked so much? Basically, they, they just say that uh, some one of my students. I thought just says one of my students jumped, but he's alright. And actually he is at the training camp. Um um oh, Mandalay just says, Oh, so um So uh, I guess they need to go now. Mm, basically Pixie Bob just um does does the same thing on the floor and they are now in the forest of monsters, but they got in the, they got to the training camp and before, um, let's just say before the bus came along without Deku's help because of the training that Deku did. That is the reason. So yeah, after that. Um no oh, uh when Deku was there he met Kora and uh, actually made they became like brothers like a little brother and a big brother relationship Deku being the big brother and and um it was Kora being the little brother and basically Deku uh, Kora just says that just calls Deku a big bro Deku and yeah which the thing that happens next is this uh, class 1A isn't mad yeah class 1A isn't mad at all because um, they know how hard uh, Izuku's training is so yeah, it's better this way than Deku training them. But Aizawa, oof, oof. Deku goes to Aizawa and basically says that um, Aizawa Sensei, uh, can I train the whole class? Aizawa was shocked because of uh, are you? Aizawa just says, are you sure, kid? It's going to be hard. Deku just, yeah, no. I've trained them before. I'll train them again. Aizawa was completely shocked this time because of they did training. So, yeah. Aizawa just says, yeah, sure, kid. And he goes up to Koda and be asked that, Koda, um, do you want to train with me? Um, Koda just says, yay, sure, big bro, Deku. 
basically saying that, and Mandalay saw this and basically saw that he, this is not the coda that he's used to. Basically, um, Koda is nice now, yes, and yeah, Deku's training is um, 10 times worse than the training they did in the training camp. Deku is, Deku is training alone because of, te technically not training alone because of his servants, but yeah, but the same thing. Deku is training with with his servants, improving his skills, bowmanship, uses of his his flint knock, his noble phantasms, sword play, and um, magic. And yeah, which when he use when he trains. He has to go a, a long, a, li a long ass distance just to be, just for his classmates to be safe. And his classmates always ask that, uh, why is Deku always going so far away? And they just say that, uh, they just say that because of Deku's power, it's very destructive. So he doesn't want to accidentally kill one of you. And what can only be heard is like bombs, just bombs, like a bomb, like a nuke, just came down and pfft, again and again and again. And they were scared of how powerful Deku is. So yeah, that's basically their training. And yeah. Now we go on to the to the scam master thing if I remember. The scam master thing, uh it's deco all alone but it's alright. And yeah, um everything happens the same in canon. Dobby Coda is still in the Cliffside for quite convenience. Deku saves him from muscular, but the saving took e is very easy because of um, Deku's power. And yeah, after that, um, he defeated Spinner, Magna. Who else? Um, uh, he found. No, no, no. Yeah, that's all that I know of. No, muscular, spinner, magna. What was the, the other one? Oh, yeah. Moonfish, he defeated him too. And Toga. When he sees Toga... He is reminded of Jack. Like a yandere. Because Jack is a yandere. For goddamn. He Jack is a yandere. For goddamn sake. So yeah. So the thing that happens is Deku just defeats Toga. And Jack comes out. And. Basically. Goes up to Deku and basically kisses him on the lips. Deku doesn't mind this because she always do this all the time. So yeah. In front of everyone, no the less. And Deku just says, um, did you enjoy that? Jack. Jack just says, very. Let me go home. I'll, I'll give you something. Jack said to Deku... I'm gonna give you something, um, let me go home. And, yeah. Deku sta saves everyone except for Bakugo. 
He didn't notice that Bakugo was missing, so yeah. They got Bakugo. Peko isn't angry to herself because um, he wasn't paying attention, so that's the reason, so yeah. He knows his mistake and lives up with it, so yeah. And the thing that happens is that instead of them just doing go just doing the thing, the the rescue for Bakugo, actually Deku is invited with Todoroki and Todoroki, Ira and Kirishima because they gain they gotten stronger and stronger. So yeah. So yeah, that happens, and um, Deku is just um, what was it called? Um, Deku is ready for this. You can just say he was born for this, and basically he asked uh, his friends, Ida, Ida, Kirishima. Shoto, so what? What's the plan? Um, basically, Shoto Deku just says that we should um Ira if um you can be a distraction for Shoto because the the villains will be focused on you. Then Shoto, will, then you Todoroki will be um will freeze them, and you and you and Kir Ira, you and Kirishima. You, you and Kirishima will go and you Kirishima will punch the punch them and you come and you Ira will will be um, kicking them and they will and they will stuck in place and I will just wrap them up so that they will not be they, that they will not escape and they just all nod and agreed. Which they still still do this pizza delivery thing and um what was it called? All for one still did the thing that <clears throat> all for one still did the thing that um, Nana Shimura's son, uh, grandson is Tomura Shigaraki and everything, yeah. And yeah, um, the thing that happens is actually All Might dies. Yeah, All Might dies. Everybody can see this on live TV. They lost hope. They lost in hope, but one man said, never fear, because I am here. The, everybody in the world just look, looks to their screen and sees Deku walking to, to all for one. You've, basically Deku just says, you vile villain. I think I have something for you. All for one just said, Oh, is that so? Tell me. What is it? Deku just says, Your sentence. Basically, Deku just summons all of his servants all at once. And did the same thing with All Might. Francis Drake applying support. Francis, Amelia, Deku, uh, Merlin applying support. Um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Jean Diarc, um, Jean Diarc, Sherlock, Altria, Leonidas, um, and Mount Lilith. And, um, what was her name again? Oh, yeah, Mel Lilith, and, um, uh, 
Mel Lilis uh, If I remember it was the foreigner uh, Katsushika Hokusai And through this because Deku is enraged He summons A new servant Basically a pentagram Just goes down to the ground and he summons BB. Yes, he summons BB. And yeah. And he summons BB. And they just go ham on, on all for one. They just go ham on all for one. Basically, uh, Deku is in rage and goes f- to front attacks. Some, some, summoning Excalibur. Um, yeah, summoning Excalibur and using Excal using Excalibur. Um, and um oh, uh, eliminated blade works and to stun all for one for a bit not technically stun but knock him out but he's not dead yet and hercules just kicks off for one three air and Deku just goes up and says, In the name of me, Izuku Midoriya, you shall be sentenced to death. Basie saying that and Basie punches all for one. Punches him. Plummeting him straight to the ground. A loud explosion can be heard loud. and you can just see Deku standing victorious over all for one's body and they just cheer on they just say the new symbol of peace has arrived the thing that happens is now they have a person to rely on they now have Izuku or they can just call him the servant hero they just call him the servant hero the servant hero fate and yeah that happens and yeah they just dub him this the new number one hero so yeah they and yeah that happened so now they just go home which every girl which Deku's every girl servant was summoned and they're going to do the thing for for the reward for being the next number one hero which if you're what okay, which is going to be plus 18 and yeah hold on sorry about that guys my audio cut off but um this next part is going to be 18 plus so um kids if you're watching this stay away from this please if you want to sh- to show my uh Tell us some appreciation. If you're under 18, just please don't watch this, please. No, or just skip this part. Because, yeah. Okay? Okay. So, all of Deku's servants, all the girl servants, um, BB, yeah. Including BB, yep. BB, Altria, Jack the Ripper, Jean the Ark. Um, 
mm, uh, Mount Lilith, Francis Drake, Katsushika Hokusai, and BB, plus King Arthur, are all having sex with Deku. The thing is, they're doing it one at a time. They are actually doing like um um he's doing missionary for Katsushika um reverse cowgirl for um G in the arc um what what else um doggy style to um Jack the Ripper what else um uh what was the one called um what was it called again um he's doing the face off with altria um he is doing um uh, what was it called? The pretzel dip to um Francis Drake and flat flatiron to um to BB and uh, and yeah um. That's what, and for Mount Lilith, um, this is special, so, Deku did the G-Wiz, the wheelbarrow, the leapfrog, to, uh, yeah, to, um, to Mount Lilith, so, yeah, and basically Deku comes, Deku explodes them all inside so yeah um which they are filled with euphoria and they want more and basically they do it overnight which Deku doesn't mind because he is used to this having d- d- done it before so yeah and that happens now the next morning um he is now going to school but um everybody was naked every girl servant was naked and basically emia just says nice job master yeah i did good they see when Deku goes into the shower. Jack follows as well. And they see did a blow job for uh, in the bathroom. Um they see licks um Deku's dick. And um Deku is now uh, getting a blow job from Jack the Ripper, so yeah. So yeah, and they did um what was it called? Um They did the ballet dancer and yeah and yeah and let's just say that the walls are painted white that's th- that's what happened and they they just took a shower and Deku just uh, because because she was wet he cleaned her off with his tongue so yeah so yeah that happens and that's the 18, 18 plus part, so uh, you can watch it again. So let's go to the next one. 
um, they go on to um, they go to uh, uh, Deku went to the to school which uh, which the teachers were discussing a meeting about one thing if Deku will get a hero license early on the teachers debated and decided that Deku will have a hero license now the thing that and basically Deku was called to the principal's office so Deku when Deku was called, he just asked, so, um, what happened? Um, he asked Nezu, ne- Nezu, Nezu says, oh, nothing, um, uh, we, all the teachers here, decided that you are now going to be a hero. Deku was confused because he thought he needed to be, um, to do a provisional license, but that's what just says that because of you displaying your power and uh, re- avenging the number one hero, I will, um, we, I, and some of the um, pro heroes decided that you will now be uh now be a hero fate that is just calls him fate because of that's his hero name it's fate Deku just says uh principal nezu um can i still go to school though P- nezu just says yes yes you can t- you can still go to school so yeah, um, they just give Deku his provisional license, no, his pro hero license. Now he has the power to use his quirk. And yeah, um, when he comes back, the squad, the Deku squad, which includes Mina, Mina, Momo, Shoto, um, Ida, Ochako, um, they, they asked Deku what, uh, what happened, why were you called by Nezu, basically he just says that, oh, um, Nezu just called me because he gave me my pro hero license, they would just say, what, which all class 1A can hear this, saying that, Wait, how did you, how did you, got your provisional license this early on? Deku, uh, Deku just says that, uh, ne- according to Nezu, um, uh, he, he just state, states that, uh, because of me avenging All Might, the number one hero, um, and basically through the vote of the pro heroes, Plus the love of all the of the civilians, because of me avenging All Might, they um they they actually made me become a pro hero, which everybody was shocked. Bongo was pissed, and Spacey said that nerd, you me outside the field now. Dago just says sure. They just went to the field. Everybody was watching them. The, Bakugo just says, Ever since we were little kids, I always hated you. You were always a stuck up. You were always following me. And I hated it. And Deku just says, You were always a stuck up, a stuck up dick. So let's just consider this as payback. Which Deku just... Summons his Excalibur and basically says that let's do this. Which in a flash, Deku just knocks out Bakugo clean out. 
and yeah that happens so yeah so this I think well I'm going to be leaving it off I'm very sorry guys if it if this video is very short it's because of um things that I had to do so yeah so as I always say like comment subscribe and see you guys later bye